Hello racing fans on the Ace of Pace, Ray Wallen here with a special look at the pace for the 2017 Kentucky Derby. Here we'll look at the most probable pace scenario for the first leg of the Road to the Triple Crown. Saturday's 12th race from Churchill Downs, the 143rd running of the Grade 1 Kentucky Derby for three-year-olds at a mile and a quarter over the main track. Now for a quick look at this field, which has a ton of great storylines. Steve Asmussen sends out three starters here, looking at lead draws the dreaded rail post, Untrapped, who finished sixth in the Arkansas Derby last out, and the Sumlin Derby winner, Hens. Can one of these break his 0 for 15 slump? Todd Pletcher sends out three starters with one also eligible. His lone derby win in 45 tries came back in 2010 with Super Saver. Always Dreaming appears to be his best shot here as he also saddles Taprit and the lightly raced one-eyed horse Patch. Master Plan still needs to draw into the field for a chance. Can the combination of Doug O'Neill and Mario Gutierrez make it 3-for-3 three three in the derby with Irap after I'll have another in 2012 and Nyquist last year? Can the Desmaros avenge the second-place finish of Exaggerator last year here with Sundatir? Jockey Ken has three winners in 19 tries in the Derby. Can Thunder Snow be the Dubai shipper that finally wins the Derby? Classic Empire has been established as the morning line favorite at 4-1 to one, as one of two Mark Cass entries. He prepped in the Arkansas Derby like so many other great horses, and the last horse that won the Holy Bull, two back, that went on to win the Derby was the Great Barbaro. Cass's other entry here is State of Honor, the runner-up in the Florida Derby. First-time Derby trainers are represented here as well. Joe Sharp saddles Gervin. Antonio Sano sends out Gunerva. And Ian Wilkes has a live one in McCracken. Can Michael Maker's fast and accurate be the first horse in Animal Kingdom to win coming out of the spiral stakes? Don't count out Irish War Cry, who would be the first horse to exit the wood and win the Derby since Funny Side in 2003. Trainer Graham Motion has one Derby win, coming with Animal Kingdom in 2011. John Sheriffs hasn't saddled a derby starter in 10 years, but did score with Giacomo in his derby debut. He sounds out Gormley with two-time derby winner Victor Espinosa in the Irons, and also as well Royal Mo, who could get in with three-time winning jock Gary Stevens. Flavin Pratt gets his first derby mount for Jerry Hollendorfer aboard Santa Anita Derby runner-up Battle of Midway. Chad Brown sends out Practical Joke with 2013 Derby winning jockey Joel Rosario, who guided Orb to the win. And Jay Boy's Echo runs for Dale Romans and looks to bounce back off a fourth place finish in the Bluegrass. I've identified three probable pace scenarios in this race and we'll discuss the most likely one here. In the first scenario, the early pace will be weak. The race will then set up for a horse that is sitting off the pace. The second scenario is that the early pace is stronger than expected and the race sets up for a bit closer. Lastly, as with every race, the final pace scenario is chaos. You may be wondering why chaos here has such a high percentage, but the horses are heading to post, having never tried the distance. There are maturing three-year-olds that are constantly improving, and they're going to be asked to run a faster pace than many of them have seen before. With a field of this size, there's an increased chance for something to happen that will negatively impact the race, such as bumping and checking coming out of the gate, and too much traffic late for a horse to sustain a bit. In my most probable pace scenario, by the first call, the two one-dimensional frontrunners should be out on the lead, fast and accurate, and state of honor. If Royal Mo happens to draw in, he'll figure to be up close as well, despite expending a ton of energy to get there. Always Dreaming and Battle of Midway should be sitting right off the pace with Classic Empire and Irish Warcry, all within about three to four lengths. Gervin and Untrapped will be at the front of the pack that develops, which will include Thunder Snow, Taprit, Gormley, Patch, Irap, McCracken, and Practical Joke. Gunerva, J-Boy's Echo, hence Looking at Lee, Son of Tear, and Master Plan, if he draws in, will round out the field. At the second call, the early speed is faltering. The two front runners start to lose ground to Always Dreaming, Classic Empire, and Irish War Cry. Royal Mo is out of gas and starts retreating through the field. Battle of Midway runs flat while Gervin starts making up some ground. Irap, Gormley, and Practical Joke also start to advance. Untrapped, Patch, Thunder Snow, and Taprit run evenly while McCracken starts to make a move. Minerva sits patiently while distancing himself from the rest of the field. By the stretch, Always Dreaming, Classic Empire, and Irish War Cry have established themselves on the front end. Gervin, Irap, and Practical Joke are starting to game. Thunder Snow, Minerva, and Patch will all make runs but fall short against the trio up front. 
As they hit the wire, I expect Always Dreaming to edge out Classic Empire, Irish War Cry, and Practical Joke. Gervin I Rap will also be close late and should be considered in your exotic wagers. In pace scenario number two, the difference would be that the early speed is tougher for the pressers to handle, which would set up the race better for a closing run. Gervin and Practical Joke would likely be the benefactors of such a condition, with Kinerva finding his way into your exotics. So thank you for watching, and feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Google Plus, at US Racing, through my blog, Jersey Capper, or on my new website, www.theaceofpace.com. As always, remember to check the track conditions and adjust for any scratches or changes before placing your wagers. Good luck.